All right, what's up everyone? Um, this week, I'm here to talk to you about better decision making. We're constantly trying to make decisions all day long. Some are small, some are big, but we make thousands, tens of thousands of decisions every single day. A lot of times though, as teams, when we're at work, we really make bad decisions. And I wanted to share three reasons why we continue to do that. The first is we often start with bad information. We make huge assumptions around the fact that the information we have is good. And often that's not the case. Second, we use the wrong model to process a decision. Sometimes we just jump into the weeds without thinking about the big picture and then drilling down. Other times we don't look at all of the possible alternatives and try to predict what the various outcomes might be. The third reason we make bad decisions is because we fail to learn. Not that history repeats itself exactly, but a lot of times we make the same mistakes over and over again, uh, assuming that the results would be different. And that's just human nature. I find one of the, the biggest time wasters in meetings and decision making is the lack of alignment between the person that needs a decision and the people that are trying to give advice or trying to make a decision as a group. That lack of alignment, the time it takes for people to align on what is actually being done is the part that actually wastes a lot of time and prevents us from actually making better decisions faster. I'm going to tell you about five types of decisions that you might need to make at any given time. The first is the tell. And I'm just here to tell you the decision I'm going to make or have I already made so that you can move on and do your work. The second type is advice and advice is I'm about to make a decision. I want everybody's advice, but I'm going to use that advice to help me make a better decision. And I'm going to be accountable for that decision. The third type is agree. And in agree, this is the most complicated type. Agree is basically consensus building. I want everyone around the table to agree with a decision and move forward. This usually takes forever and I, I just recommend not using it that often. The fourth type is guide and the guide is someone's going to make a decision and I really am trying to influence how that person is going to make a decision and, and provide support but also advice based on my experience. The fifth type is delegate and delegate just means that I'm not going to hold accountability for it. I'm going to transfer that accountability to someone else so that they can make that decision. One of the biggest time wasters is when a person thinks that they're actually seeking advice, but other people think it's building consensus. Or someone thinks that they're just telling you that they made a decision, but other people feel like you're delegating the work. When a team is aligned on the types of decisions that need to be made together, it allows for people to focus on the actual decision making that needs to happen. My recommendation in any meeting is for every agenda item, you should try to describe what kind of decision you need made, whether it's a tell, advise, an agree, guide, or delegate. I think it's important for you to label each of the agenda items so that everyone knows how to engage with that agenda item and the decision that needs to be made. I hope that's a helpful tip on making better decisions with your teams. Like I always say, don't compare your insights with other people's outsides. Peace. Triathlon season's back, so I got my Ironman gear going and my Antonek shirt. And I'm practicing how to smile more frequently in my videos. It's not easy.